All right, um, day off from the gym, finally back from that epic trip. Body is feeling good and I'm um, doing something that is long overdue. I don't like when my physique gets too hairy because I can't see what's going on with my body fat straight up. Like six months after shaving it with clippers, I can't really see anything under my chest and abs. So I figured after cardio on my off day, get some more sun, I can do this dumbass task, which I'm sure if you guys have done it, you don't like it, and I don't like being hairless. I just don't like being over hairy, so I'm gonna shave. Maybe I'll hit a quick pose, because I'm more curious to see how I'm looking, because I haven't been training, or I haven't been doing many exercises, any exercise variations, and I've had my doses the same for a little while. So let's do this and see what's up. See what's up. really annoying but here we go feel like crap <laughs> Starting point. All right, guys, and I'm just doing posing so I can see how I look on whatever I'm taking and everything that I'm doing. So, going forward, I'll have more motivation to look better, to keep my diet in check, and to actually track what I'm doing with small changes I make on the dosages and supplements I'm using so I can just see what's going on without. I can't. It'll grow back in a couple weeks, but for now, let's make some gains. All right, guys, what's going on? It is Friday, April 6th. I still have yet to post the Jerry Ward, Jeremy Buendia, and Devin Physique Pec Tear video. Well, I'll probably post that today on this Friday, and it is actually leg day today or squat day for the first time, I think, since last Friday. So I took about a week off training legs just because my spine and or surrounding muscles, but probably my spine, was very fatigued. So the load I was putting on my back from squatting 205 for 10 to 15 sets a week was, considering all my other gym time, a little bit too much. So today, the goal for this workout, if I think back on everything I've done training legs in Denver at this gym, what I wanna do is three to five sets with my working weight, which is my body weight, 205 pounds, and three to five sets of hacks, and three to five sets of supersetted extensions and curls. So we're gonna go to the gym after I digest. Just drove and had a snack, so I'm gonna chill for 10 to 20 minutes and catch my breath. Then take some pre and go straight to the gym. Do those three to five sets of squats. Do those three to five sets of hack squats and then do probably three back-to-back -back supersets of curls and extensions, and then we're gonna smash calves, three to five sets of calves. So I'll let you guys know in the voiceover how many sets of each we did. If the back feels great, five sets of squats. If the back feels like I can still use more recovery, then we'll just get in three sets to re-stimulate all muscles involved to remind my body that 205 is something we need to do on a regular basis, and that'll be that. And the crazy thing is, is it's starting to snow, so, once I finish gym and keep driving, given the fact that it's precipitating snow slash rain, it's opening day, driving should be pretty killer today. I did take some days off work this week. I still talk to my clients, but I was out in Steamboat Springs, barely had reception, so that's why my Instagram and text game has been very random for the few of you that actually do contact me, clients, and people in my DMs and stuff like that. I guess the few people I actually respond to, but I try. So, man, it's coming down. I'll let you guys check this out. You probably can't really see. Do you see anything? Do you see anything? Yeah. It's whatever. But, it's time to go to the gym. Time to get pig as full. Actually, it's time to stay 200 pounds. Body is shaved, feel like a piglet. Whatever. Let's go train. I'm excited for this leg day. Make sure I have everything. Started driving at 7 a.m. today, so I'm tired. But it is 10.36. And the day before rush hour at 4 p.m. is still young. Let's go lift! Yeah. 
What the fuck is that? You understand? So guys, comment below if you know who Zach Khan is and if you guys ever followed his career. But we're at the gym now, had to park far, and it's it's snowing, all right. So let's go warm up and get working with 205 ASAP. Alright guys, what's going on? So we are going to do this voiceover. I haven't even looked at the comment section of my videos um, basically in a week. Uh, so what we're going to do is open up the comments after we talk about squatting a little bit here. And there's not too much footage, but a couple of the hack squat sets are really long. So I came back from that vacation and I decided it was time to hit legs because I benched like three times super back to back before leaving. And the reason it was a week before, or be before I squatted again it's because my disc herniation and my lower lumbar spine, uh, it wasn't acting up, but it was fatigued. Like when I feel my lower back muscles start to get tired in the gym when I'm squatting and holding that, uh, that position at the bottom, right when I get a lower back fatigue legitimately in my muscles, at that same time or maybe a set later, I start to feel a little bit of inflammation and a little bit of... Uh, it's just an ache. It's like an ache, but it's in my spine. It feels like a muscle ache, so... It, could just be the muscles, but I mean, I think I know better having had the injury myself that it's definitely disc related when I basically overtrain the squats for my ability to currently recover. Given that I'm not 100% recovered from my injury, I'd like to say I'm 90 to 95%. So those were squats to just about parallel. I like to think they're deeper, but that's a pretty poor angle. And I keep getting that second squat rack in the gym and it's the worst rack to film in. And I'm going at like 10 or 11, so even later than I used to, and it's packed and it's hard to film. So let me know in the comments below if you guys miss the better filming or if it's really just about the content and just kind of having something to listen to while you guys are doing whatever it is that you do when you watch YouTube videos. So if you guys want to see better training clips, and I'll definitely make an effort to do that, but I don't know, I feel like this is good enough if you're just kind of listening and you can always see the form anyways. So my goal today was just to hit three to five sets of squats, making sure that my spine felt good. And I stopped at four sets because after the fourth set, when I racked it, I felt like my lower back was working a little bit. And I know when I get that feeling that my spine is gonna get tired after folding over that one degree, it makes a difference, especially when you're injured, or maybe only when you're injured. So yeah, that went really well. And today I happened to squat again about, I really don't know how many days later, so say about a week later. A little sooner and I did match about that uh, amount of volume so not getting better but maintaining while still stimulating the muscle so if I can get stronger before I get better just by doing the same volume if I can just master it then when I go up it won't be such a shock to my body and I'll be able to handle it so we'll see if I can get to seven plus sets on squats but right now with my mobility and my recovery it's kind of a balancing act of not putting any tension on my lower back so when I start to get fatigued or tight at the bottom my muscles aren't that stretched out, maybe uh, I'll start to feel it on my lower back. So the amount of times you should squat per week is probably gonna be two or three times if you're doing a moderate amount of volume. And for me, it's just like one to two times right now, unfortunately, so. But that's what you have to do when you're injured. It's what you have to do when you're not perfect at lifting or genetically, structurally, whatever it is. You need to work within your limits and everyone's are gonna be different. Somehow I can go to town on hack squats. I even did more than I filmed. I did five total sets. Uh, and yeah, it was pretty crazy. So let's read some of these comments and also there's a stretching portion at the end of the video so that a couple people that I work with can just look at each individual stretch and so you guys can see what I do post-workout for 20 minutes. So watch that stretching routine. All right, it looks like you've made some gains since you've been back to barbell squatting. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm still a 200 pound, 5'10 person like I was six months and a year ago and I'm stronger in my upper body. Maybe I'm heavier now, 203, 204. Maybe I did put a pound or two of muscle on my legs. But honestly, I don't really see a difference. When I was doing dumbbell sumo squats and hack squats and leg curls and really busting my ass with you know less than optimal exercises, when I did Nick Strength and Powers video, my legs were still really full. So I don't think they're better, 
but that was just crazy lighting and a fresh shave and it did look pretty crazy so that I was stoked about that. Eating challenge soon. Honestly guys, the idea of an eating challenge, I mean maybe if there's like a cool restaurant challenge that I'm finding in Denver, I'd be down. But full on cheat days and full on cheat meals to my capacity, honestly, I just don't really, it doesn't really go well with my body. My indigestion will last for days. I'll have acid reflux for days. So in order for me to do these eating challenges, I really have to starve myself and then I suffer for days after. And I, I really don't know how Nate does it. I don't know how Eric does it because after I do something like that, it's hard for me to train. It's hard for me to sleep. It's hard for me to eat. It's hard for me to work. So because their channel is geared towards that and they have a big following, I feel like if they have any symptoms or side effects like I do, it's worth it for them because they're really banking on how awesome their videos are. And for me, just trying to promote strength training and eating all around good food with some cheat meals, just eating like a normal person and training like a normal person who wants to get strong, doing eating challenges doesn't really, it might bring actual more attention to my channel, so I should do them for that reason, but they affect me negatively and I don't necessarily promote doing them. It's just something that I like to do, just like, I don't know, there's things I like to do that I don't recommend everyone does drinking alcohol, smoking weed. I like to do those things, but I don't do them often or really often. And I limit them and I moderate them and I don't promote it. So eating challenges is just like any other thing. It's uh, something that I think is unhealthy, but in moderation, you obviously can get away with it. It's just, it affects me negatively and there's like a downtime before I can feel good again. And yeah, it's fun, but unless I'm dieting hard and starving, it's un not really doable. I'll get a lot of negative side effects or I'll just get kind of sick from it. So. That's about it, and not much to ask or to uh, comment on here. There's some funny comments left, but this is the stretching part of the video I was talking about. Um, each stretch is gonna be one to two minutes, maybe four minutes for the V sit, and I do this every day pre-workout. I'll do it quickly, and then post-workout, I'll do it for a very long time, and really take every joint to the full end range of motion. And my camera died on the last stretch here, the splits. Jeez, but you'll see uh, me go into a full-on forward and back split. I'm stretching my quads there, and then I come back and I finish with the split. So I think everyone should be doing this just for general health, and it'll help your squats too. And guys, it's late on Saturday night, and I'm 100% sober, and that's got to change. So let's see what we got in the mystery box from Mystery Girl. Hybrid action, testing... 31% have an indica at 25. So, I say we spark. Uh, Ernie has an old uh... Ernie is an old Enough screwing around. That was, that was tough to film. I'm exhausted and medicated. Let's eat. I'm gonna start with breakfast. Peace out, bro.